This is Tillian and I'm on the spot. I guess the first line is break out of my cage. That's pretty good. Just because it's a it's a song of like dissolving relationships and and or the album an album of dissolving relationships and reaching new freedom. So yeah, it works. I don't know if it was cathartic yet, but like after listening to it, maybe that's when it became cathartic. Um, I was kind of just writing what was on my mind and I didn't really, I didn't really like feel kind of freed by it until I listened to it. Going back and listening to music at different times, um, it's always different, like your own music or, or other people's music. I'm always more direct lyrically on the solo project than Dance Gavin Dance, uh, It's which makes it maybe harder usually because dance cabin dance is more expressionism in some sort so like everybody's pretty uh all over the place and kind of just feeling it and and feeling the vibe and the solo project is definitely more structured and less chaotic so people are going to pay attention to the lyrics and the vocals a lot more probably i don't know drugs seem to be coming more and more of a problem uh people covering up their emotions um with drugs or trying to trying to kind of regulate how they feel rather than feeling it and growing from it kind of like or or using drugs for courage when you actually need to go through the pain in order to gain the actual courage so drugs seem to be the scariest Thing coming in for the youth, I would say. For Dance Gavin Dance, I definitely wanted us to dress in like furry costumes and do a synchronized dance. <laughs> I think it was originally gonna be for, I think it was gonna be on the acceptance speech album for Strawberry Swisher 3. That was kind of the idea. Um, and then it we got the, a treatment for a completely different idea and we just went with it. That Kind of that middle breakdown seemed to be appropriate for a synchronized dance. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a synchronized dance in a video and we still haven't done that. And that's... And then we could do it live too because we would already have learned it. It would be pretty fun. I was going to do a music video before this tour actually and it just didn't work out. Two different ideas I guess. One was along the more psychedelic path, and then the other one was gonna be kind of a one-shot dance routine type of thing. So maybe maybe a dance routine is, is in the near future of some sort, because they both featured that, both of the ones that I wanted to do that didn't happen. We could get a bunch of kids named Gavin dancing. I don't know, people seem to be right most of the time. <laughs> I've. I kind of like have come to terms with with the fact that people start saying things and then I'm, I reject it and I'm like no there's there's no way and then I'm I'm like wait a minute maybe they're right <laughs> like one of one of them for instance which I never got like a year ago or, or six months ago I never understood it people are like hey man take some time to rest like you're you're working a lot you're touring a lot and I was like nah I'm fine I had like bounds of energy like it's totally fine and then kind of recently I'm like you know what maybe I do need a little bit of rest <laughs> I think it's tough for people because when especially musicians like when you come home from not low as musicians but when you come home you kind of you need it maybe two days and then you're like okay let's let's go back to work <laughs> so you you have that drive in you and it's hard to try to, I guess maybe you could, you could like force yourself to get into something else besides like writing, recording and touring. It's tough because n nobody really wants to sit around. Like it's pretty awful. Once you're stagnant for two days, you're like, okay, done, enough. Gotta get back to work. Mm, we own the night from Dance Gavin Dance. I think it's like, if I was gonna show somebody one Dance Gavin Dance song, I'd show them that. Um, just because it has it all. It has 
most aspects of the band. I really like Gone recently from The Skeptic. Just instrumentally, I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite ones that I've done. Knowing by Tides of Man, just because it was the opening track on the first album, and it, it was our favorite one from that album. That's a great question. <laughs> Maybe I gotta figure that out. Because every everything that I've accomplished so far, especially in the band, has like kind of exceeded my my goals and trajectory when I was a kid. So like I guess reassessing is probably a good idea because I I just wanted to like be able to make a living off of being in a band. And obviously, you know, DGD's far surpassed that so it's a uh, it's a good question I should probably do some uh, do a 10-year plan again hey this is Tillian for more videos from all your favorite artists please like and subscribe to APTV